My religion then is come about by instrumentalism in that what I value is what I value and what other god could I value than one that personifies such. To a religiously instrumental view that I've found such to be of such benefit. But that's always been the case of our um, inquiry and research. We know what we want. We then behave as if that is true and so we do what we want. We learn the consequence. Our goals are changed a little, at least accordingly. We start the process again. There may be sort of dead ends where you don't get any further in this pursuit. And someone radically comes along and says, well, perhaps you should have um, done so and so early on. Try that. And because perhaps you become exasperated with the inadequacies of the path you're on, you think, well, I'll give it a try. And as you practice trying it, perhaps you see, ah, this is better. I think I prefer this. And you start developing, moving along that path accordingly. Is there any end to this? Well, there might not be. If God is infinitely expanding, I'm infinitely trying to catch him up. <laughs> but I've got an economic solution, and that is perhaps he comes to the party and helps. And suddenly I'm given a miraculous um, switch, jump, transformation forward. And uh, I wake up one morning and think, ah, I've got it. It's so-and-so. And I'm flying more so than yesterday. So I change from glory into glory. Join me. You're very welcome. Bless you. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>